Ooh. Mm. All right, so today I'm going to be sharing how to make my tote pattern. I actually have two different sizes. This is the smaller one. Um, before I get started, this video might be a little cringy. It's my first one. Um, I'm hoping that it becomes less cringy the more videos I make, um, but let's figure out and see. All right. The first thing to do is to cut your fabric. For the bag handles, cut two four by 18 pieces. However, if you prefer longer straps, cut two four by 22 inch pieces. If you are making a small bag, cut the body fabric 10 by 10 inches when folded on the edge. However, if you're making the large bag, cut the body fabric 12 by 12 inches when folded on the edge. Iron the bag pieces right sides facing together. Next, iron the handle straps. With the right sides facing down, fold the wrong sides together, iron, and then unfold and fold both sides on the ironed edge. And make sure to do the same thing on the other handle strap. At the sewing machine, sew both handle straps using a 1 8 inch seam allowance, making sure to backstitch at each end. Boxing the corners is optional. However, it only takes an extra minute and I personally love how it looks. To get started, measure the folded bottom end of the bag pieces. Mark one inch horizontally and a half an inch vertically on all four ends and then cut out the corners. Next, sew each bag piece folded over from top to bottom making sure to backstitch at each end. Next, align the edges of the open corners at the bottom of the bag and sew. You are going to do the same thing on all four corners of both bags. This is creating the boxed effect. I used a 3H seam allowance, however, you can do more or less, it's up to your preference. To attach the straps, flip your outer bag piece inside out. Lay your bag flat on our table. If you're doing the small tote, measure one and a half inches from both of the top ends. If you're doing the large tote, measure two inches from the ends. Pin the ends of the straps on the outer marks, making sure not to twist the straps. Then align the other side straps and pin. Next, sew on all four straps. I sewed back and forth about three to four times to ensure the durability of the straps. Place your outer bag into the inner bag, right sides facing together. Align the sides of the bags and pin on both sides.
Place the bag on either side and in between the straps measure about 3 inches and pin on each end. This will be the opening to turn the bag inside out. And sew the bag all the way around on the top, making sure not to sew within your designated 3 inch opening. After, flip your bag inside out. Align the top ends and iron for a cleanly finished seam. Using a 1 8 seam allowance, sew the top end of the bag all the way around. That's it! Thank you for watching and happy tote making! I'm just not an Instagram model, I think. Go. <laughs> <laughs> Stop.